Well, welcome back guys to more Minecraft on the uh, Adults Craft Bedrock Server. As you can see we're just jumping through the portal from the nether hub into the spawn turtle. So if we plop down here, you can see some more of the amazing artwork that we've now got. Which is really cool, all three servers on it. Oh, there we go. So what I'm planning on doing today is, well, one, I'm going to go and check all my shops and see how we're getting on. Um, it's not been long since I checked them, so I'm not expecting a lot of sales, but we'll see. So let's run up here. So we've got our rocket shop. Which does need restocked, I don't think. It was only yesterday I checked when I filled this barrel back up, so I'm not expecting too big, too much. But, oh, there we go, another four diamonds from the potions, which is very nice. And I left my ender chest somewhere. Should have a spare one in there. Yep, there we go. So, steal these. So, this is the reason I'm out here. I now want to go and upgrade my shop. So as you can see, I have got two boxes of supplies. I'm going to put my diamonds in there, just so I don't lose them. So first things first, we'll get an empty shop cart and stick it there. And we'll just empty out the shop stock for now. We'll put it back later. Just chuck that all in there, out the way. So first things first, let's rip this thing out. So now that we've got that wrapped out, I'm just going to chuck all the rubbish in there for now. And what we're going to need is a lot of this grey concrete. And basically, going to replace these. So I'm going to carry on with this. And we'll see you once I've got it finished. Or once I've got part of the way through it anyway. Okay, so, as you're probably guessing now, we're building a nice big cauldron here. So what the next thing I want to do is to jump up inside it, and I kind of want to make it look like it's sort of been getting used for brewing a potion or something like that. So I want to have it. kind of in the corners and dribbling out on the floor and then what we're going to do is fill in the gaps with the glass there we go and then the next port of call is I'm probably going to say there. are. So what I want to try and do is make a fog effect ceiling here, but I'm not sure how many layers I'll get to do. So we'll go and lay that out and see how we get on. And as you can see, you're starting to get that fog effect. So what I think I'll do is raise this grey concrete up another couple. So I'll grab a few stacks of that, raise up another couple and then add another layer. Let's have a look from the inside. Yeah, maybe add one more layer, that will give it a nice colour to it. It's looking alright. Keep forgetting we've got jump boost. So yeah, I like that. That works. So next, what I want to do underneath 
is make it look like we've got a fire underneath it. Basically. And then what we will need is my glass box. Yep. So there we go. So this is going to be the exit. So what we now need to do is build the entrance. Okay, so we are running back to our now finished shop. As you can see, I've done some detailing on the sides, which I think it makes it look a bit better. It gives it a bit of shape. I might, I might change the shape and add a bit more wool down the sides. We'll see. Um, and I've also decorated round the side of the cooking lava pity bit so it's all decorated out i've also got a wee bit of a path coming in so that when you come out you can come down and you've also got sort of two ways around so it makes it a bit more obvious that you need to come around here decorated it up lit it up got it all in um, we've also got a man well i put in sort of like this sort of handle on the top of the tap kind of works. I think I'm kind of limited because I use the concrete. I think if I'd used stone I would have had some more stairs and slabs and stuff. Some options to maybe shape that a bit better but it works and it looks quite nice. Um, if we jump up I've also as you can see carpeted the top of it just to spawn proof it so I don't need to light it up. And the, oopsies I need to be up there. Never mind. We'll just jump down. The fog effect works quite well as well on it sort of wrapped it around that so it disguises the water but yep if you're a customer you can come in shooting up and you'll get this lovely little you'll be able to have a wee look around see the, the view before you go shooting down because it's flowing water it's actually fairly quick you can push shift and go down quicker and there we go so i've got most of the stuff in i have named all the stuff in the item frames as well so you can see what it is so we've got plenty on the go we even put in some swiftness ones just for the fun um so i've also thought well i've got all this stuff from the witch hut so i'm basically just giving it away because i've got chests of the stuff so people can come and take it if they want it and it's the same deal as it was before, one diamond for three different potions. And as we go, I'll add in more potions and more options. Um, I haven't sold anything yet. Also, I've put in the Phantom Membrane Buyback Program. So for every eight Phantom Membranes you put in, you can take a diamond. Um, mainly because getting them for the slow falling potions is a bit of a pain. So, yeah, done that means I can get them in. Oh, so somebody has already been through and filled it up. What's that? Like two stacks? More than two stacks. Two and a bit stacks. So I'll need to find out who that is because I don't know if they took diamonds or not. So we'll check that out. Um, but yeah, that's us pretty much done with it. So, and to get out, you just drop through the bottom and that's you done. So that's us, that's our lovely new potion shot on the server and let's jump up there. So that's going to do us for today as always. If you liked the video do hit that thumbs up button. If you've got any suggestions on how to make the tap look a bit more realistic or potions you'd like to see or other things that you'd like to be selling in the shop, we'll do drop them in the comments. And if you're really enjoying what you're seeing, do subscribe to the channel. There are plenty more videos coming from the server and from Minecraft things in general. So subscribe and I'll let you get notified when the new videos go live. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.